This is for the nerds. This is for the brainiacs. This is what we deserve. Go ahead and play it back. You ain't gonna touch me. You're not gonna do nothing. You are not above me. I bet you wish you was me. I know it. I know. What is poppin', everybody? And welcome back to another special episode of the Only Friends Podcast. Well, you know, I'm here with my only friends. And we've been here for a fucking year. What is poppin', squad? What's happening? What's happening behind you? It's a special anniversary. It's a special anniversary. Oh, What's wrong? You said it he right. Said it right. <laughs> he said it right. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Who said it right? You did. You just said it for the first time I ever. I always say it right. When it's spelled no. wrong, you say it right. Is that how this works? <laughs> hey, whatever, whatever gets special? the job done. Special? <laughs> <laughs> it's all been one goddamn long troll. <laughs> Can't take it, man. How the fuck did we make it a year? This is is unbelievable. We're here. We're popping. We are here and popping. It's been 365 days, 227 episodes. Landon, 227 episodes. Can you believe that, Landon? Yeah. Can you believe it? I'm just not going to acknowledge how uh, I normally would. You know, it's a special day. Mm. Yeah. I dressed up for this shit. I know. I told you to do it, too. Mm -hmm. I did. And then fuck it. Yeah, Landon goes, we should all dress up for the podcast. It'd be great. And now he's, you know... I looks wore like he's working today. production. <laughs> I wore pants today. I mean, that is a step this is in the right direction. dressing up for me. Yeah. It is appreciated by mm-hmm. all those viewing at home. I got a goddamn tie on. Yeah, that's because you're the tortoise. You're the tortoise the with the tie. tie. You got to let it fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no lie. It's right. Oh, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to Poppy in the chat. Thank you so much for wishing us well on our one year. I can't believe we made it, man. Dude. I really Mama, can't we made it. it. <laughs> yep. We we have over half the squad remaining. Five out of eight. That's that's Not pretty good. Bad. Those are good numbers. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's better than fifty percent. This is uh, <laughs> this is a real turning point for us. So Christian and I we did we originally did the the Salt Fry vlogcast mm-hmm. and we made it one year and twelve episodes. Okay, so we need to get thirteen more out and work. Yeah, so we basically made it like a year and mark. three months. Okay. And then it died. Well, mm-hmm. how many episodes was that? Like in total? Like 40-ish? We, we've long surpassed it. So we're it. like mm-hmm. dog years compared to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. A daily podcast is like dog years compared to a, a weekly one, for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, if you listen to the um, you listen to the podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, it still says Software Wide Vlogcast. So technically, you guys are still going strong. Still rolling, baby. We, we're still rolling. <laughs> Uh, big shout out to Efro who actually made all 227 episodes. Thank you, Efro. Congratulations, to Efro. He, he is our yeah, number one. He sure. is. We appreciate you, my man. Thank Yo, you so much. Did you know that Efro's brother had a wedding? Had his wedding there in the main? That is rude. That is that's <laughs> so fucked up, bro. I, and it's crazy because like I had glance had wrote something that um you find out who your real friends are mm-hmm. if you have your wedding there in the main. Mm-hmm. And I responded, well. There are obviously he's not a real friend if they send an invitation for through these dates. Of course. And he first said his brother did this. And I don't even know how to respond. I didn't even like it. I didn't even respond to it. Like I just upset this. Shock stuck. and horror. Shock I, and horror. I missed uh, I missed one of my closest family friends' wedding. It was in Aruba. Um, shout out to Matt Hicks. Uh, you didn't go to Hicks's wedding? No. You made thought, it during the main event. I thought that's where you met Michelle. No, I met him I met Michelle at his sister Kelly's wedding. Also in, in Aruba. Cake, oh, in Turks and, Turks and Caicos. Caicos. My bad. They they like destination weddings in the Caribbean, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Um uh, but that one was in August, so I could make it. Well, but what he, you do is you just sell pieces mm-hmm. to your friend that's getting married, and that's how you show your friendship. Mm. You play the main, sell but you, you give him a piece. You don't give him a piece, you sell him a yeah, piece. Yeah, sell him a piece. You sell him a You sell him yeah, Marco. <laughs> no, you, yeah, you sell, you sell him at face, because that's his, that, his gift is getting it at face. Yeah, exactly. That's mm-hmm. his, uh, that's, that's the, like, part of the, mm-hmm. what's it called? Where, uh, registry. Uh, yeah. On the registry, you mm-hmm. put in your own checkbox of main event action at yep. face. I did not cash that year. It was a waste. It would have been in Aruba. No, <laughs> you got the experience, man. It's, yeah. it's worth a lot to you. Uh, <laughs> I, I like the idea of this. Uh, let, let's, let's make this about the people in the chat, the nerds and brainiacs who have supported us the whole time. So Efro has already got the ball rolling. And granted, he's being sarcastic here, but I do think it's funny. 
Um, you guys should put in the chat what your favorite memories are over the last year, and we'll reminisce a bit. But mm. he says, my favorite moment over the past year was Christian's interview with Vertucci, saying how <laughs> they need to have at least two of him, Berkey, and Melissa. So at least two of the three need to be on the show in order to keep it running. He says, two out of those three haven't appeared here in decades. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. RIP to the fallen soldiers. They they did the heavy lifting to get this show off the ground. And for that, I'm very appreciative. Mm -hmm. uh, we certainly wouldn't have been able to get this rolling with smaller numbers than what we had. I mean, think about the World Series last year. <sighs> like, that was... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this sound very pretentious, but it's because I don't know how else to pronounce the word. But that was laborious. <laughs> What the fuck did you just say? Uh, I never you know, know if it's Can laborious. We get a you mean, please? It's not. It's like, it's, it sounds laborious. Like, it's only laborious if you're like you know, like from middle oh, America. Laborious. Laborious. That's labrum. If you ask Hunt, <laughs> if you ask Hunt how to pronounce it, it's laborious. Yeah. Is that is he's that true? A smart is, that, man. is that a actual pronunciation? I think so. I think it's like the you know the way the Brits would but say. Nobody like, says laborious. Laborious. The Brits. Yeah. Like you say laborious, and I think it's this foreign word that I've never heard before. Yeah, yeah. But it's actually a word I've heard mo many times. Right, right. Just, well, you I could have just said difficult, man. No, when, when Hunt... Uh, there what, it is. Are we going to hear it? Do you want to hear it? Yeah. yeah why not? Laborus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yours was Laborous. nowhere near as pretentious as that, for what it's worth. <laughs> that was like mush mouth saying it. Wow. Uh man. Could have uh, said difficult. I, I just listen when Matt gives like his lectures during the academy for all the words that Brits pronounce differently mm -hmm. than us. Yeah. We really, I mean, you know, it's ours to bastardize, but we really ruin the English language. Why do they, um, everything that ends in an A, they change it to an ER? Idea. Yeah, that is, you know what? People in upstate New York do that too. Not just upstate, just New York in general. Oh, okay. Yeah, like New York City, they do, they do the same thing. It's weird that new, people from New York and people from, from uh, Britain. Britain do it. Well, uh, that's that's work. where all the the uh, what you call it, the, the thieves and and the whatever was, that were all cast aside from England landed. Oh, I see. We were the original Australia. You mm -hmm. know, then they did it again. That they were like, well, it didn't work out so well with America. Let's try again. We have this other <laughs> land that we've conquered. Let's send all the criminals there and see if we can maintain control. And so far, they've done okay. Now, both are beautiful places. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Where better to be than America or uh, Australia? Australia. Um, mm. before we get into all of the nostalgia, there are a few things that, uh, are worth covering in the poker world. Triton rolls on. It's just steam rolling ahead. The 15 K no limit event finished up today. I'm hungry. And my man, I'm hungry for some. Nachito! Oh, nachos! <laughs> Man, Nachito, Nachito Barbaro mm -hmm. is the winner of the 15K. I don't know how this man does it. He is he is just on some sort of fucking heater. Uh, pretty stacked final table. It was Brian Kim, who's also just had one hell of a year outside of Bill Klein bluffing his fucking face off. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about that hand yesterday, actually. Uh, Nacho, uh, Jans, Keen Wei Tan, who I don't know, obviously. Uh, Kiet Lee. Uh, Alexis Ponikovs. Uh, man, this has to be the tenth time I've had to pronounce this guy's name. I need to learn it. <laughs> but I got you here. I got my homie Landon. How many final tables does up. this guy have to make? I know, like Jesus Christ. Right. If you have a tough name, can't you be worse at poker? Like uh, you know, maybe play cash so we yeah. don't have to pronounce it all the time. Uh, Alex Kulev, S. Seth Davies makes back-to-back -back final tables, and then obviously the one and only Linus Lollinger, uh, who did not win because Nachito came out victorious. Do we know how much it was for? 600,000. 600,000. That's a big fucking 15K, man. Yeah. These Triton events are popping. Triton is sick this year. Um, I <laughs> need to get a passport. What do you mean? Well, they confiscated it after Bahamas. Why? Uh, during the pandemic, I was supposed to go to Mexico to play the original WSOP bracelet events that were first announced on GG. Okay. And I couldn't find my passport. So in a panic, I put, made an appointment to get a new one. And it was, you know, tail end of the pandemic and it wasn't an easy thing to do. So I just bailed on Mexico. I was like, fuck it, I'm over it. But apparently when you make an appointment to get a new one, they just, uh, they, they just report the old one lost or stolen. And now it's no longer usable. So they let me into the Bahamas and on my way out, they're like, this is supposed to be lost or stolen. I'm like, yeah, but it's not. I have it. And they're like, not anymore. <laughs> they so, took it. You, you, you guys can't see, but, um, Right off of set, there is a uh, just like a little yellow shelf, and it, the passport was just sitting there yeah. the whole time. We were setting up to start this podcast, and we were like moving stuff around, 
and and you know just like moved one thing over and Brady goes oh my passport <laughs> <laughs> fucking beautiful day for me I was yeah. like I don't need to go to the yeah you were so happy I thought I was good till 2025 and then, they took, then they took it away from me mm-hmm. but apparently according to Mr. Helmuth new bestie uh, you guys, yeah, you guys seem like real chummy. I he love it. wants to play twenty stream games in a row in crossbook, and in I'm crossbook? I'm fucking here for it, man. I figured out the I figured out uh, the weak spot in his armor. When he's up more than ten big blinds, he folds ace king preflop. <laughs> That's what it is, guys. You got him. I got he, his ass. I. What was he doing? He, he like, had a feeling. Did you hear him? He thought for sure he was gonna have kings versus my aces. You Wait. had Jack four off. That's that's and light three aces. Bet. Wait, what did I miss? <laughs> Berkey three bet him with Jack four off, and he just he opened, finds a fold with he Ace King. A three bet. He folded Ace King to Ace. He opened three hijack, bet. but he was winning, and I knew he was winning, so it folded me in the big blind. I Jack four off, and I was like, "Nah, fuck this guy." And I three bet him, and he just like <laughs> he used two time banks, gave me a speech, and then folded Ace King face up. <laughs> that's why Mama the, Joe wrote in the chat, "I need the Jack four off court." <laughs> but he, but yeah. he did it. He did it again. I don't know if I don't know if he if he said that he did or not. But like it was so quick. It was a bunch of hands. It was oh like yeah, three yeah. Bet, it was, it and was, it was just like jungle you, open, jungle open, Jack four suited. Mm-hmm. Bill Klein three bet Queen, Queen Jack. Or sorry, I opened eight six suited. Jungle flatted Jack four suited. Bill Klein squeezed Queen Jack off. Uh, candy cold called tens, and he just snapped Buck Day's game. Yeah, like if you if you uh, if you weren't like 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 really focused on the stream, you just miss it because when they when they're like people fold really quick, the graphics mm-hmm. just go boom 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 <laughs> like that, and it was just like they were going boom boom boom, and as they're folding, I just see like a helmet that just flashed for like two seconds. It was like Ace King, and then boom in the buck. I was like, he literally didn't even just. Honestly, like, I get it. Shout out to my man, Bruzy. Yes, there's definitely a clip of the Ace-King fold. Uh, we'll see if we can find it for you. But if not, it's, it's for sure floating around in the live at the bike sphere. Um, it may, it's starting to make a lot of sense to me. Because I was thinking about it, like, how, how do you run deep into MTTs? And it's like, well, it's two things. One, you get a little bit fortunate uh, in card distribution and mm-hmm. having your equities run true or hold for you. And then two, uh, you... If you're like really good at the soft skills, you find ways to wiggle out of those uh, really close equity spots, right? Right, or ones where you're actually quite dominated, but in theory, it's a close equity spot. Right. And what I realize is that uh, he's covered the really lucky part, and he passes on every single spot where the equities are really close. But he also manages to like navigate himself. And, and granted, sometimes it's just a byproduct of like having a shorter stack. But he manages to navigate himself into spots where like he literally has his opponents drawing dead. He got Jungle to put in fucking twenty five thousand dollars drawing stone dead. I mean, granted, like the pre flop call was just like mind boggling. But what? what was Jungle thinking? Though? We don't know, man. When he just like he clicked it back, and I was you want to like, get in the jungle's I, mind? And I was thinking in my mind, I'm like, why is Helm? Like maybe Helm? Maybe he is this? You know, just like this. Mad genius. I don't know. Because he clicked it back to like 3,900 from whatever it was. It was like 1,900, 3,900. And I was just like, why would he ever do that? Like, he's just, you're just, Jungle's just always folding here. And then Jungle's like 10,000. And he's like, all in. 5,000 more. He's like, oh, fuck. I guess I have to call now. <laughs> yeah, man. It was, uh, it was something to behold for sure. Um, I, I honestly... I'll never understand. Like, I don't think we'll ever understand the inner workings of MTTs and all the different ways that you can navigate them. But I, I will I will give the man his flowers. When it comes to tournament poker, I think what he does works. Yes. Uh, when it comes to cash game. But it's because of the ICM model. Like, And again, like for all we know, five, ten years from now, we're going to look at ICM and be like, what a fucking joke of a model that was. Mm-hmm. Right? And maybe we'll find something better. But as it stands, like we understand that there is a risk premium in a lot of the situations that you find yourself in. And for better or for worse, this man navigates them. Yeah. But God damn it, if, if he isn't passing up on free money when it comes to cash. I don't know, man. You might be getting yourself into a world of hurt here with white magic. We're going to find out. You might be getting mm-hmm. yourself in a world of hurt here. Oh, it, We're going to uh, find Berkey, out. Berkey's either going to be buying a private jet or <laughs> living under a bridge. There's no in between here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to fucking find out, man, because he wants to play 20, 20 live streams in a row. Or not in a row, but like he, he basically said, if he's on a live stream, I'm invited. Mm-hmm. And I said, we should cross book. And he goes, okay, like, let's get 20 under our belt. I don't know if that means we get 20 under our belt before we cross book or we, we yeah, I don't take know whatever. Details, I don't but... care. But either way, uh, I have a standing invite to go to London now in April to play with him, Rob Young, um, 
Tony G, I think uh, there were a bunch of other people he invited, but basically they're kicking off their live stream there at the end of April, right before EPT Monte Carlo. So it looks as though I'm going to have to get that passport renewed. Wow, look at you. Just talking enough shit get... until you get it in. My, my fucking God. Here I was trying to play a heads up mm -hmm. sit and go that I know nothing about. <laughs> and instead, we get into the cash arena. You run a sim for that move? <laughs> I am that's the some, sim. That's some smooth shit, man. I yeah. am the sim, man. I am the sim. A um, few other things we have on the agenda. Uh, I'll, I'll take my time as Wapa rushes back to his... Uh, his station um andrew brokers launched a course yesterday it is on range splitting uh five separate episodes totaling about two hours in runtime we have a little bit of a preview for you if you guys want to take a look at that tease in this course we are going to be talking about range splitting which is a way of managing the information that you provide to your opponents this first video will talk more about understanding your incentives and how those interact with the ideas of deception and information hiding and then subsequent videos in this lesson we will look at specific situations where it may or may not make sense to split your range and talk about why and the mechanics of how to do that if you guys are interested for to see more uh this andrew brokers course uh or many others that he has on the site head over to solveforwide.io two-week free trial to sign up uh 49 not the gpi award is that why EPA. you guys are dressed up that's why we're dressed up is that why you're dressed we, up? we you know, you didn't get back from LA. From mm. Winning three sessions in a row, by the way. Yeah, very, bravo. very well done. Thank very you. well bravo. done, Berkey. Never win Mr. on stream. Mr. Can't win on stream. Just Can't goes to LA, stream. wins every day. I think Phil's uh, doing some meta shit here. By the way, it's it's not released yet, but that's actually four in a row with the No yeah. Gamble No Future. That's right. So, uh, you know, Berkey was partying all night long and didn't get back to Vegas till this morning. Yeah, so, I was in bed uh, by ten thirty. Right. So we had to um, do a late podcast, and I, you know, I want to get down for. You know, happy hour. Thor's trying to get drunk. I, I mean, you know, listen, Jeff says, hey, the bar opens at 430. So Conrad and I are going to be there at 430. So sure. I made sure I'm nice and dressed, ready to go. As soon as this ends, I'm there. Fast tortoise. <laughs> oh, <man>. Godspeed. <laughs> Fast tortoise. <laughs> That's what it takes. Oh, man, the tortoise good. runs on on ether, <laughs> oh, ethereal, ether, ethereal, mm. if you will. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what are you? Uh, what are you two boys in the t-shirts who didn't dress up as we had all agreed to? Uh, uh, who plan are you on talking wearing? about? You fucking sabotaged me. You came in here and turned on the fucking heat, and I just started sweating. Yeah, I can't in, help Conrad, over the place. in Conrad's defense, um, I can't uh, help he you. Did have a, he did lights. have a nice shirt on. I don't know where it went. It's in the dryer. Okay. It, I got sabotaged. I, I can't help you get a little nervous on the lights. It's 62 degrees in here. Perfect. First of all, it's 64, so it's it not was 70. Shit. It was 70. And you here. turned it on. It's not. Turn the heat on. You it had it absurd. set to 70. <laughs> There's a heat right here. Uh, These yeah, lights what, are hot. Whatever you say, I'm, man. I'm like buttoned up to my neck. <laughs> <laughs> And the fucking guy wants to turn the heat on. Yeah. Oh, man. What do you guys want to do first? Do you want to do the uh, the Mad Lib acceptance speech, or do you want to do favorite memories from the chat? Oh, wow. Well, let's give the chat some more time to do favorite memories. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. All right. So I was uh, coming up with bits this morning, and I was like, you know what would be funny? If we made Conrad read on air. That would be <laughs> fucking hilarious. So Is this abuse? <laughs> No, feels like it. No, uh, it's not even funny because he can't read. It's funny because he laughs his way through the reading. <laughs> like it, it's it's funny when the person telling the story laughs along. Like it gears you up as the audience to laugh. Whenever it's just in the background and he becomes the audience, then mm -hmm. it's too much. Yeah, I'm not reading for you, like everyone else. I'm reading for myself. Yeah, that's true too. That is true too. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make the fonts nice and big. Thank you. Know? you. I appreciate for your, that for your elder eyes. Uh, so I was like, oh man, like we, we might win an award tonight. We should probably prep an acceptance speech and mm -hmm. who better to read the acceptance speech than one Conrad Simpson. Yes. Obviously. Getting it fucking popping. So I was like, okay, well if we have to make one really quickly, what's the best way to do it? Obviously Mad Libs. Mad Libs. And uh, lo and behold, this is a thing. Like, of course it's a thing. I don't know why I wouldn't 
believe that the internet would beat me to a good idea. <laughs> um, imagine that. But this was like trending back in 2017 of how all Oscar speeches are identical. And there was these Mad Lib templates circulating the internet. This is one that uh, came from Huffington Post. Oh my God. That uh, basically replicates, you know, the majority of all, uh, all Oscar speeches. So I changed a little bit of the wording. Uh, you guys aren't going to be able to see it because you're only able to see the actual Oscar template. I changed a little bit of the wording, though, to make it fitting for a, an accepted speech for podcast of the year, which, you know, God willing, the only friend's pod is going to be up on that podium today. Mm, that's uh, and uh, we're, we're going to get after it. So we, we got some Mad Libs here. Um, we're going to go around the room. Start with, uh, let's see, let, let's, start with, let's start with Conrad here. Uh, the first thing we need to come up with is an exhilarated sound. <laughs> Popping. I thought okay. maybe. <laughs> you set this shit up, didn't you? No, no, actually. Uh, Poppin isn't going to read well at all, but, you know. That's the point. Actually, that was I take that back. We can make it read well. Get it. There we go. Okay. Uh Moving on over then, we are going to go to Landon, and we need an overly flattering adjective. Mm. Wonderful. Bro, you can cook better than that, man. Wonderful is overly flattering? I mean, I want something that makes your heart <laughs> flutter, you know? If someone said it to you, you would blush. If anyone said anything nice about me, I would blush, man. True. I thought he was going to say you have big arms. No, I don't have... Yeah, that's not an adjective. <laughs> I don't have big arms. Your arms look big. That's, that's an adjective. Look big, cuz. Look, look good, big. Cause. Let me try... I'm trying to find it. Uh, <laughs> ad adjective? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. You know what adjective... Yep, got it. You... Polkritudinous. <laughs> no. Possessing beauty that is breathtaking or heartbreaking. Okay, fine. Spell that. P U L. You know what? You spell it. <laughs> uh, that's not how I would have spelled it, so keep going. <laughs> C H R I T U D I N O U S. Good luck, Conrad. Wait, you didn't tell me that I have to spell it. Yeah, to that's say fucked that up, man. You, you're sabotaging. You're clearly sabotaging. I gave you a word and then you didn't like it. I mean, that's fair. Um, okay. Brian. Okay. Yes. Name a nemesis. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> I got. Enemies. I don't want to go got obvious. A lot of yeah, obvious. Do that. Uh, let's see, Nemesis. Uh, let's go. Mm, it have to be. It have to be. Uh, mm, hair. <laughs> wow. No, I mean that's so soft. I it saw is. one. I saw one in the chat that kind of stuck out. Good. Alan Kessler. Oh. Alan Kessler's the ne Oh, his nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if Alan Kessler knows who I am. But that, maybe that's of course why he does. Him. He keeps calling you turtle. He just fucking DM'd me the other day and said the turtle's wrong. <laughs> oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Shit. I Put him on the board. <laughs> Put I him on the board. Shit, can I change my adjective to bussin? Yes. Yes. Uh, Yo, how did I forget Bussin? See, yeah. there you go. Now you're having the right. spirit of it. I saw the chat. You know, the chat helped me out with The bussin. chat is helping. Thank you, chat. What we was I wrong about, by the us. way? I would like to know what I was wrong about. Um, the, you're not allowed to look up um, the optimal way to... He also sends it to me, obviously. You're not yeah. allowed to look he up the optimal I don't, way. He knows I don't respond to his DMs. Uh, optimal way what? Um, I've had to play video poker in the casino. He you're said that not? you can't look at a, no. a thing. So if you're at the tape, if you're at the machine... The electronic machine. I've Well, I've... Like you mean they they would come up and say you're not allowed to do that? Well, you're, that hasn't happened. You're not you allowed hasn't. to do it. <laughs> I mean, the, I honestly I I I can't argue with uh, with Mr. Chainsaw because I mean uh, you can. No, not not in this situation. He he knows this is his realm. But you could, right? I know I know where to where to be, and this is his realm. So I guess he's right. Um, I'm going to continue to do it until someone, <laughs> someone tells me to stop. But uh, amen. Okay, so I'm going to skip me because I know. I know the actual speech, so I don't want to cheat. So, uh, well, let's Guapo? use the chat. Hey, we, we can use the chat when you guys fuck up, which let's is gonna be adjacent. pretty much always. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Guapo, poker drama. Name a poker drama. Mm. All right. I mean, let's go obvious. The Robbie J. Lou hand. 
Okay. We'll call it the hand. The hand. Okay. Um, Conrad. Actually, we'll go back. We'll, we'll go reverse snake now. Mm, snake. Landon. Or uh, Lamana. Yep. A famous person. A famous person. Yes. Any, uh, any famous person. Any famous person, but you could... Uh, it's... It's supposed to lean industry famous. Okay, uh, Jeff Platt. Oh, yes, Jeff Platt. <laughs> That's it's Jeff supposed Platt from to lean go. industry famous. Well, because you know it's meant to be from the Academy. Uh, uh, Landon, name a deity. Oh, what the fuck Apollo. did you just say? Okay, a deity, a god, god, a deity, deity. Apollo Creed. Can I? <laughs> can I have a spelling of that, please? D e i t y. Do you want Apollo or Apollo Creed? <laughs> Apollo Creed. Apollo yeah. Creed for sure. D E I. Uh, Conrad, give me a noun. <laughs> Actually, uh, we'll leave, we'll leave that one for Guapo. Give me a Twitter follower. A Twitter follower. Yep. Wow. Good or bad? Wait, somebody that follows me. Um. Wait, what do you mean you, a Twitter follower? Us. Anyone, just someone from the Twitter sphere. Yeah, Twitter personality. Twitter if adjacent, if you All will. Right. Matt yeah. Glance. Twitter, okay. Matt Glance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me a, a noun, uh, Guapo. That's a person place thing. Yep. Let's Be go with uh, Spearmint Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Based. Okay. <laughs> the Rhino. That's pretty good, Guapo. Nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. He didn't even hesitate. I have to think about that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are making progress uh, here. Wait, are you doing this as well, Burke? No, because I know, I, I know the... Ah, uh, got you. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> who are we on now? Landon? Landon. An affectionate nickname. Hmm. Come bubble. Jesus. That's, 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 that's Yo, let him, cook, let him cook. Let him cook. Come bubbles on the table. Okay. <laughs> Yo, let him cook. Bubbles cooking right now. He's on the table. Infection. <laughs> I want to know who right. the fuck nickname is Come Bubbles. Okay. Landon, uh, name an agency or company. Above the felt. Okay. All right. Brian, a rural city or state? I mean, rural state? City or state? Yeah, right. Let's go. Uh, I mean, you could say Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, it's not rural. It's, it's as rural, rural as Jason. it gets. Uh, let's go. I'm trying to think of something good. Oh, um, Rump. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Shout out to all the people in Perum. <coughs> what, all five of them? Leechburg would have worked. I know, but Leechburg's too obvious. That's okay. Brian wants I guess to shout obvious out, is fine. Obvious you want to is shout funny. out to Perumpians. Right. Fine. Um, to who do I want to? Yeah, Landon's right for this one. A visceral feeling. You're existential. Fear. Fear. He's on that one. I want them to fear how much they love me. <laughs> Would you rather be hated or loved? Would you rather be feared or respected? <laughs> okay. Um. All right, Conrad. Uh, a nickname for Landon. Take all the time you need. Well, I'll, tell you, uh, 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 I'll tell you what. You have your choice. Uh, this is going to be between you, Guapo, and Lamana. Two of you need to answer. I need a nickname for Landon. Or sorry, uh, three of you need to answer. I don't care which three, but the same person can't answer all three. A nickname for Landon, a nickname for Andre, and a nickname for me. Well, we already have the nickname for Andre. Yeah, Malay's an ankle biter. That's not even close. All right, so. I'm not. No, 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 no. So, I get Landon still. My God, you gave him to me. What was the last one? Me, Landon, and Andre. Oh, you. Yeah, you guys take care of him. Yeah. He's Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean's good. Eeyore's good. I like Mr. Clean. Um, clean. Yeah, Mr. Clean. I like Mr. Clean. I think my word would get me canceled, so somebody else can. <laughs> mm. 
It's not even a bad word. I think it's even get me canceled for some reason. So um, somebody else do let me. Because only... Malaysian ankle biter wasn't, yeah, that's wasn't going to cross the line. All right, pansy. <laughs> pansy. <laughs> pansy. Um, bro, it's, it's, it's very pansy. obvious. It's very obvious. The cat jammer. No. <laughs> it's very obvious. There's no no one call no one calls me that. You can't just come up with a nickname that nobody ever used. That, that's also true. It's not even. That's not how nicknames it's, work. It's also not even a nickname. It's just. It's just. It's, it's just, just a, a mean adjective. It's just, <laughs> yeah, it didn't say mean adjective. I thought, isn't, I isn't thought what you wanted. A flower. It is. Yeah. It's also a. It is also a flower. Yeah, we went to high school with our pants. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Andrew. He was. He was something else, man. Uh, all right. He was not a pansy. He fucking no. was a very good football player. What What did we come up with for Landon? Oh, um, slave to the sim. Pansy. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, cat jammer is good. <laughs> cat jammer is good. Ryan likes it. See? He gets cat jammer. I get Mr. Clean. You guys are idiots. No, I, think, I think yours should be Berkey Nato. No. Nope. We're not Berk making Berkey Nato. Berk Nato. It's time for the Berkey Nato. All right, Guapo. It's time for the I, need ex- I need an expletive from you, Guapo. Oh. What's the expletive? I mean, it's a curse That's why word. I didn't ask you, buddy. That's why I didn't word. ask you. Um, you could have said a curse word. <laughs> Let's go with cunt. Okay. <laughs> wow. But with the the expletive. <laughs> All right. I like uh, how you put the camera on you for that one. Brian, <laughs> Brian, I need a socially political cause. Socially political cause. Cause. That's the only person you could have picked to answer this one. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's <laughs> do Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's, actually, it's actually fun. Um, all right. Let's go with... Um, who's going to have... All right, Conrad, give me a former poker pro. Somebody who's washed. <laughs> oh, oh, that's dirty. Right, um, this is fun. <sighs> I got to think, got to think, got to think. Damn, I don't even know. I got one. How do you find this I, fun? I, I, you I have yet to... Hold on, hold on. <laughs> By all means, shout him out. Alan Barry. <laughs> what do you got, Guap? I was gonna say Mizraki. Mm. Oh, okay. Any anyone else? Does Uncle Dan count? Nah, w- wouldn't fit. I mean, yeah, it would fit here. Actually, it would definitely fit here. All but... right, Uncle Dan, Tito Dan. <laughs> um, a positive adjective. Anybody? Positive ad- adjective? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't want to Google what adjective it is. Can, I, can so. we use bussin again? <laughs> no. No. Let's do... Exuberant? Is that a positive? Popping. No, we can't. It's so funny to me that I get made fun of for the big words and stuff when we're playing Mad Libs, mm-hmm. where you're supposed to use just like, you know, funny words, like you're just supposed to be saying <laughs> cock and balls the whole time. <laughs> You come up with exuberant. He comes up with a word I've never fucking heard of before. I didn't come up with the word. It was from a Twitter yeah. account called Words. <laughs> Christ Almighty. Splendid. Okay. Perfect. Splendid. There you go. Like the uh, like the sugar substitute. That's Splenda. Oh, that's right. Did <laughs> <laughs> one with cum bubble again. Jesus. <laughs> uh, after party location. Spearmint Rhino. <laughs> oh yeah. Would be a good fit, but we already used it. Mm. Omnia. Larry's still- Cabaret. <laughs> <laughs> Excess. Guapo, keep naming them. Go, go, go. I'm just thinking of the down bad ones. <laughs> Bunny Ranch. Okay. Ooh. How do you spell Spearmint? E A R? S P E A R. Yeah, okay. I got it. Crazy. Uh, how many more we got? This is. Uh, That's it. I was gonna say it's, it's, <laughs> this is getting too much. I don't want to do it lot. anymore. It's a lot. Brian doesn't want to play. I want to play. I just I want to I want to see the final result. <sighs> mm-hmm. Well, you get to hear it. We're gonna have to hear it, and we're probably not gonna be able to understand it. All right, everybody, be, be prepared to clip this one out. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm sending. I get to say cum bubble. Uh. <laughs> 
Can we have a laugh track counter on the bottom right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it tracks up to infinite. Yeah. Uh, true. Chat. Link. Send. Go. All right. All right, chat. For everybody who wants to read along, <laughs> here you go. Here's the link. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see what we have here. Oops, we expect encountered an error. Mm. What do you mean? You made it on Evernote. Yeah. So Conrad does not have an Evernote. Well, it says it should still open. Nope, it says Evernote error. God damn it! All right, fine. Fine. I'll do it the hard way. Do it the hard way. I mean, that's just what life's about, man. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right. Wow. Thank you. Let's get it popping. This is such an honor. First of all, thank you to the, the GPI and Hendon Mob for recognizing us among the other biz, Boston nominees. Alan Kessler was just incredible in the hand. <laughs> And any one of you could have been there accepting an award with Je from Jeff Platt. I'd like to thank my Apollo Creed, my <laughs> Matt Glance, and especially my devoted Spearmint Rhino. Look, come bubble. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> you broke him. <laughs> and to the talented people over at ATF. Without all, wait, what the fuck is ATF? Above the felt. Oh. <laughs> Without all of your, your guidance and support, I'd never be the small town kid from Pahrump who made it all the way to Las Vegas to pursue my <laughs> dreams of making people tremble with fear when they go to YouTube. I want to thank <laughs> my tireless colleagues, Tortoise, Cat Jammer, Poo Dog, Malaysian Ankle Biter, Guapo, and especially Mr. Clean for supporting me as a great host to ever, greatest host to ever do it. Oh man. The music is playing, so I need to get out, get out of here. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but just one more thing. <laughs> if we all rally together around BLM, Black Lives Matter, <laughs> we can make the world a more splendid place. Well done. Oh, this was... is for you, Uncle Dan. <laughs> I'll see you at the Buddy Ranch. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man, that turned out way better than I thought it would. I don't know, Holy man. Shit. I think if we win, he just reads it. Oh, man. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's just it. Like, no, I'll see you, Uncle Dan, at the Buddy Ranch. Honestly, it's... It, Mic drop? I think it's unhinged uh, enough where, like, if we just... Like Conrad, go up there and I just think read. Should, I think that if uh, if we win, that that's, well, the music's playing, so that means I gotta go. <laughs> Con <laughs> we just let him. We just let him cook up there. I mean, just let him fucking cook, let baby. Cook. I'm gonna cook. Oh man, let him cook, man. I don't know. I need to put this on like a long um, scripture though, like one of those things that a you scroll, roll out. Scroll, yeah. yeah. Roll it out onto the. What's the scripture? Scripture Scriptures is, are written on scrolls, I suppose. Right. Scripture or they is, could be. Scripture right. is the written text. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yes. A scroll is what the scripture is on. Potentially, yeah. Yeah, potentially. He's, he's going to get a cuneiform tablet and just read off of it. Stone. I mean, yeah. we, it would definitely be a clip out for him, you know? Yeah. I think it'd be fine. I, I, you know, I don't know. I think, I think we'd probably lose them at the cum bubble. <laughs> yeah, but that's when the mic gets cut. Dude, yeah. <laughs> what about when I just stop and say, cunt? <laughs> he missed all of the actual natural pauses and then just added some of his own. They were perfect. Moment. Mm -hmm. I yeah, made a grown ass man cry yeah. in my chair. Mm -hmm. Felt horrible at the moment. <laughs> I still feel horrible. I mean, yeah, we still we still use lines from that episode all the time, like you don't look good, cuz, and uh, what you should have said was. So yeah, that's that one. That one's definitely definitely sticks out. Yeah, adjacent's a good one. You know, all, the, all the inside. Yeah, we have. I love inside jokes. You know, I always want to be part of one. <laughs> <laughs> um, anytime the pile is on, obviously. No, God, no. no. All He's still the pile. You guys talk about my favorite fucking times all right True. my favorite times were when, when the polo's on I, lo I, I love the polo i don't think i was ever on when he was on lucky he you he, <laughs> he owes us a halloween co he owes us a main event costume by oh, the way yeah he does he owes yeah, us a costume he, he made he made probably the worst bet 
on the history of this podcast. And this is coming from the guy that tried to give somebody nine bakes per hundred, okay? He made the worst <laughs> bet I have ever a- a- acknowledged in person. He mm-hmm. bet that for like three to four months straight, he would keep the cleanest diet and exercise routine. And he was done after two Wait, weeks. Yeah, he didn't yeah. make it. <laughs> he didn't make it. Oh, apparently the dishwasher guy is asking Melissa to pay. <laughs> oh, said, well, well, tell her to pay and I'll pay her back. I'm here to collect payment. She says, I'm not the owner. He says, well, you need to pay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to leave my house. <laughs> Somebody pay him. I'll pay you back when I get home. Or I'll bend to it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of complaining and not a lot of problem solving. That's also a very good oh, one. That's a good one, too. Yes. Um, Bring it I, like back. The, I like the Adam 22 interview, but that's because yeah. I'm cool with Adam. So it's nice to like have a, someone that's not in the industry beyond. Even though we, the numbers for that did a lot worse than we thought they would. Which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of crossover between Plug Talk and uh, and and the Only Friends. But although know, there man. really Guapo's, should Guapo's be. over at the Rhino, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there certainly should be. That's that's can go without saying. I for thought sure. I thought Landon was gonna say uh, when Rennell and um, Bridget Bridget were on. That was amazing. Uh, obviously, yeah, you I love you, you are on the edge of your seat. Yeah, at I, least <laughs> it's just the best. With He's your hands gripped to too. the desk. <laughs> I just know that they're an absolute riot. So like, yeah. you just never know what to expect. Right. You, you gotta you gotta be here for it. it uh, Guambo, I sent you a link to our live sub count too. This is something else that uh, I forgot to mention. But we're we're approaching fifty thousand li- or sorry fifty thousand subs. Oh my god! Can we do it today on the anniversary? We could try, but I don't think so. We're six hundred short, and there are not six hundred people watching. Oh, but no. listen, if you're not listen, subbed, if you're not subbed, please do it now. Let's get that. Let's get that. <laughs> wow, Brian, what, a, what, a, what a call to action that was, Brian. Five ninety four. Let's get just, it going. Just, just hit that button. What you an can, absolute listen, call to action. Once the show ends, you can just unsubscribe if you don't want to. It's sure. Just, just, just do it now. <laughs> yeah. This is one person at least. Let's, Huge, let's, 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 let's get the number up. Will that tick up like yeah, immediately? It's live. Yeah. Oh, it's if live. everybody wow. in the chat <laughs> made three accounts, we could do it. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is a new email address. That's yep. true. Uh, big shout out to Lee Jones Hiss with a super chat. He said congratulations folks for bringing the news views and gossip daily here for another great year thank you so much we I appreciate like that. Yeah, right. i like that news like, views and gossip yeah it well was, it's from it's mvg from uh two plus two i don't know what that means but that's us <laughs> news I, views I think, and gossip yeah like just all the guests that we've had lee obviously was great uh sheets the sheets interview was amazing um i wasn't there for that yeah, one, yeah. you weren't there for that yeah mm-hmm. that was really good um Chuan was on she was our first guest i think she was our first guest yeah. first Video calling guests, mm-hmm. yeah. That is facts. Yeah. Trivia time. Yeah, that reminds me of the 200th episode was good. Yeah, the, that's right. what I was going to say. The 200th episode where we made like these dry phone calls and just... Dry were, phone yep. No, dry meaning... Like, no, we I know. Did, we didn't know what was going to happen. Like, we just somebody could have just showed on... up and just been naked and God knows... <laughs> As I know. And, we, and we, just, we just find this gem in, in, in Zach Fuentes who just comes, crushes some poker out loud, goes, wins the tournament... Like amazing. Yeah. All amazing. I'm hearing is that I should call the Paula right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm hearing. Apollo is not the one for us. Can't man. do it, man. Can't he's do not, it. He's not the one. Um, what about the chat? Anybody saying any of their favorite moments? Well, here's the thing. They did, and I made a mistake by mm-hmm. going into the to the Mad Libs. Now I can't scroll back in the chat, so I can't oh, see. No. So if you guys posted something previously, please it. feel free to throw that back Conrad in. Conrad reading. Um, gives Nick Miller. I'm not. Sure. Oh yeah, Jamin uh, being honest, fun. Yeah. No, that's not true. Jamin and I have been on the same pod at least once, right? We've been here the same time at least once, right? No. I don't know. No, I think you avoid him every time. No, we're Jeez. just the same person. That's why you never see us in the same room together. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hold on. No, the guests have been great. That was something that I was hesitant to do at first. I think. Right. Uh, partially because we had such a big crew to begin with, and it's, Woo! it's tough. You guys for- see that number? Oh, I'm right. sorry. We gained three. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's go, go, baby. baby. <laughs> we go. Um, we go. <laughs> but yeah, I think like as we evolve, it's going to become more important. Like I'm really looking forward to having Jeff and, and Brent consistently on week I over think week. It's amazing addition. Uh, I, I think like adding the strat chat episodes week over week is mm-hmm. a, is a good addition too. Hopefully, like I really do want to see like that bit of growth for us where we can start to have. People who like pop in, pop out, like Dankness did, right? Like he's just in the chat one day and he's like, oh, I have something to add on this. And we're like, yeah, you're a voice of Twitter. Like, right. come on come in. Come on in, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think that serves everybody pretty well mm-hmm. to have people, you know, be able to tune go in. from typing in the chat to actually yeah, it's like, being on. Tune in. You never know who's going to pop in. 
Yeah, I kind of like the idea of having sort of segmented days where we have the Flat Hanks Tuesday, we have Stroud on Wednesday, Thursday we talk about like Throwback Thursday history stuff. Yeah, the poker people community. know people kind of know what they're getting into when uh, yeah when they tune in. Friday is kind of the fun like <laughs> fun day, a little bit less like intensive. Jamie said we need more quote unquote after dark episodes. Oh wow! Oh yeah, Jeno came on. Oh, I forgot about Jeno. Yeah, she was fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was being serious about it being night shows. I thought he was trying to make it a race thing. <laughs> because he told me that I'm never in the same room with him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's been on the... I'm following the thread line of what Jamin specifically is saying. Yeah. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Ifro says, I particularly like Melissa and Andre trying to get the show canceled, having a conversation in thick Asian accents, <laughs> <laughs> pretending to be their parents. Oh, yeah. That was funny. That, that was does funny. remind me when I had to read that stupid uh, love letter that... What was that homie's name? Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, yes. what was it? Oh, that was funny. Oh, it was like a love letter from like the... Th it was like... like the it was like... Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like circul yeah. circulating yeah, all around so Twitter. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so good. Couldn't take it, dude. <laughs> that, that thing was like a Mad Lib hundred percent. That That man would have been great at Mad Libs. When you ask him for a positive adjective, yeah. he's not going to hit you with bussin'. <laughs> right. Yeah, but maybe he should. For real, for real. Yeah, for, that's no cap. Yep. Let him cook. Honestly, I actually love that about this podcast is that you two have become slightly more Zoomer because of this podcast. For I sure. love yeah. your generation. I know, but you're actually, no you cap. actually like some of them. I know you hate most, but the few that stick, you actually do enjoy. No, you you like mid. Let Him some, Cook. Summer mid. Did yeah, you like. see how Tortoise <laughs> wrote that hand history? He put four exclamation points. He's getting there. That's right. He's, I he's did. zooming right now. I did. Four exclamation points. <laughs> no, we, we've, we, we're out with the exclamation point. We decided that's not a thing. That was a landing thing that we all fell for. It was not a landing thing. No, people still do that. That's not a thing anymore? No, never just, was a thing. It's always 4B. Now? Always 4B. Jesus, you got to tell me when these four things B's get switched back to way, Funny, way funny way enough, when it comes to like code and stuff, when you like do some sort of hand histories, if you put an exclamation point uh, before like a suit... It means it's not. Like, it means not. Correct. That's all. That's all coding. Yeah. Exclamation whatever always means not that thing. Right. So if you do like exclamation X, it means not X. Whatever X equals. Mm -hmm. oh. little, Anyways, look computer science coding one hundred and one for you guys. If you're interested in. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep up with the ruining your lives. It's, <laughs> it's pretty mid, yeah. What games are you playing where there's four bets? Hmm? Four bets. Um, but they're all in. Hundred and L. Got that W raise. Yeah, though. when he had a when he had king queen. Yeah, and I had King Queen. Yeah. He got right. four bets. That four is bet. true. I he called. Did. He did. And then I called. <laughs> and then I called. And I was good. And I, <laughs> then I wasn't. Yeah. Oh, man. That might have been my favorite moment. <laughs> <laughs> Brian LaManna playing a four bet pot with King High. Right. No, I fought <laughs> the pair of kings. What did I read? It was a four bet pot with King what High. What did you oh, read? Yeah. yeah. Yes. What yeah. was it that I read that was good? The Mad Lib five minutes ago? No, How no, high are you, no, Conrad? No, not that. The one previous. I have no idea what it was. The, whole, the one that started the whole reading thing. Um, oh, it was the... It was the um, I, I think it was um, the WPT... Uh, WPT read. Ad Read. Ad Read, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to WPT Global and all the yeah. other sponsors who have supported us throughout the years. We're right. sorry for the days that Conrad had to fill in on the Ad Read. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Bahamas was really fun. It was kind of our first experience, like traveling podcast. Yeah, that was also, dope. Having Sarah amazing. on the podcast. I love yeah, you, Sarah. Having Sarah Shout on was out great. Poker, poker .org. Uh, they, have a, they have a website, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. Did I do this? Somebody do you think that he did? Do you think that, like, the Somebody days, asked if Polkadot had a website. Do you think the yeah. days that uh, Brian's not here, we could just get Osmus to fill in? Just like dad just, joke for dad joke. Oh, well, I mean, it's just, yeah. <laughs> or, or just have them good, do a segment. Right. One good looking human being for another good looking human being. <laughs> Yeah, I'm lucky to put Osmus in that situation. We could, we could just have them do a segment where they're just like sitting in these two chairs uh, facing off with one another, just go dad joke for dad joke. Yeah, and they we have both those... bring our guitars. Oh my God, it'd be play. great. It would be fucking oh, great. You mean man. fiddles? Fiddles, you, you whatever. Banjos? Too? I don't care. We'll do dueling banjos. <laughs> when are we getting rock band? Uh, we need to get rock Please band. Please bring I, it back. I actually we need have, to get the band back together. We have rock band. I have a bunch <laughs> of the equipment for <laughs> sure, but we should just get all new because mm -hmm. it's, it's old and dusty. And right. For real, for real. Yeah. The tech is probably better now. Man, I've seen I've seen some of those like Instagram reels where it's just like guys across the table doing dad jokes, trying not to laugh. Drinking yeah, those water. are great. Yeah, those are really great. That could be uh, Jeremy and Brian's <laughs> new calling. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, are either of them 
No, yeah, Jeremy is an actual dad. Yeah. Yeah. He is, yeah. I'm a dog dad. Multiple times over. You're a dad of Jason. I'm a dog dad and I have a shirt that says best dog dad. Yeah. There's one other DePaulo supporter in the chat. There you go. He enjoyed Landon being made fun of nonstop. It's DePaulo's burner account. It's just mean. Can't take that guy, dude. It's just mean. <laughs> He's oh, gonna, you know, the funny thing is, is he's gonna watch this. He's gonna call me and say, "He say, Landon, Landon, you know I love you, dude. I'm so sorry, man. I can't believe I did that to you on these podcasts. I'm so sorry, man. You know, you know I love you." And be like, "Yes, Ryan, oh, I love you." He's like, he will. But he'll be like, "Yo, I'm streaming right now. I got this bracelet going on, but I just wanted to call you and tell you that I love you on the stream." All right, Ryan, all right, Ryan. I'll I'll see you later, man. No, but seriously, you don't hate me, right? Do you? Goodbye, Ryan. At uh, some point, there's some like backwards um, statement in there. Like, <laughs> you know I don't hate you that much. Yeah, like there's some type of backward statement in there. Oh, I love you, Ryan. Just not on the show. <laughs> Ryan, you are welcome here anytime you want. I agree. I just will not be. Here. You can sub in for me. Yeah. No, uh, you just show up. You one know. of my least favorite. One of my least favorite memories of all time was uh, it was me, Melissa, and DePaulo running the show that day, and it was <laughs> the day that Roe v. Wade was overturned. <laughs> and I go like. We have to address this, right? And I'm like looking the Paulo right in the face, like, you're not the guy for this, man. <laughs> and so then I like turned to Melissa of like, well, you know, if anyone's gonna speak on this, like, I nominate you tribute. And she's like, I don't wanna fucking touch this. Yeah. And I'm like, Yeah, I understand. Like, this obviously shouldn't be your burden kind of thing. I was like, All right, like, I'll just do a a, a quick like acknowledgement that it happened kind of thing. And Melissa was kind of like, I don't want the show to go political. And I was like, yeah, I get it. But like, you know, I feel like we need to talk about it. And DePaulo is just like, yeah, do that. I, I'm going to say, I'm like, okay, new plan. We're going to pretend like it never happened. And you guys aren't going to say anything about it. And neither am I. And we're going to power through today and hope that we can save face as best as possible. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, fine. As soon as the cameras come on, <laughs> the first 20 minutes of the show is DePaulo and Melissa making fucking Roe v. Wade jokes. <laughs> And I'm like, please make it stop. <laughs> oh. like, I, I feel like as soon as the cameras went on, the pile was like, so we're going to talk about Roe v. Wade? <laughs> yeah, like the second it was rolling, he just immediately jumps into it. I was like, you make my job so fucking hard. Uh, this reminds me of the Melissa Sashimi arc. Mm. That was a, a legendary time in podcasts. What is different? What is there? What is what is different was <laughs> that, a that, top five moment for sure. It's definitely one of the best meme phrases that, mm -hmm. that came out of all that. Hundred percent. Um so good. I, I try not to use it. I don't think Melissa enjoys it. So yeah. I just I just, just stop using it. But no, it's she, fine. she just used it in the chat. Did she? Yep. Yes, okay. She did. <laughs> applicable right. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> applicable everywhere. The uh the better or not the better, but the uh the graduation from that one then became <laughs> successful people. Are the ones that are willing to break the rules. Yeah, that was that was a good time. <laughs> that was fun. I mean, it was good enough that you got a poster of it for your background. That is true. Uh, maybe this meme is dead. Uh, I feel like it's been there long enough I and think run so its too. course. I, but I agree. I, no, no, I'll I still find humor either. in it. Uh, what about all the scandals? I mean, man, we had a lot of huge, oh, yeah. huge, huge. Thank you out there to all the scumbags and the pieces <laughs> well, of shit in this community. You kept the show going. You guys, kept, you guys got us through the fucking year. You guys, yeah, yeah. Thank you, you guys, Jay, you guys thank literally have for Ali. every snake, and I'm a still your bitch out there. Like you guys, you're the real MVPs. Mm -hmm, you know. I mean, shout out to Bryn. <laughs> Frog poison. <laughs> shout, shout out to all the yoga instructors and uh, Taco this. Bell eating. <laughs> Man. Keeping it unlimited. Do you, oh wait, do you think? Do you think that's a like a one-off, or do you think every year is every year be like that? Every year, every man. year we're gonna have like every year. This there's a new scumbag no, every it, week. For sure. Every single week before we come in here, we don't know what we're gonna talk about, and then something just comes across the desk out right. of nowhere. Yeah, a lot of people ask me. They're like, on five days a week, they're like, how do you come up with like things to talk about? How do you always have a topic? I'm like, we don't. There's just always something going on. Like, yeah, there's really, like, just scroll Twitter. Well, I mean, the thing is, something. like, uh. Poker in and of itself is 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 booming right now. Uh, maybe not booming, but it's busting for sure. Like, <laughs> for real, for no cap. Uh, there's there's a. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> the sheesh. The end is the best. See, look, <laughs> I, this is this is what this is what it's, it's all about for me, man. Uh, it's literally just a, le a a less aggressive yeet. Yeah, no, I thought it was like G's. Like it is, ah, but geez, like yeah. before it was like, what was it? Yeet? And nah, what? Yeet's different, man. What was, what was Yeet and what, what was it with? Yeet and... Yeet's different. No, but there was something they paired it with. What's the difference between sheesh and Yeet? Yeet and skirt. 
You, instead, scary. that's from that's from an SNL skit. I know, uh, yeah. but it wasn't just from the SNL skits. From your stupid no, generation. No, but they were they were around the same time era. You know, sure. Yeet and Skirt Everybody are out. Everybody thinks that she, the generation younger them is stupid. The reason I think they're stupid is because these words cycle so fucking fast. You gotta keep like, up, at least man. The I, I still say things that I've been saying. I mean, that doesn't really bode well for me. But like, mm -hmm. we we made up terms that stood the test of time. You know, there are some things that came from the '90s and the early 2000s that are still trending in the in the lexicon of young america like cow bungia no no that was never a thing i mean it was a thing Teenage for a very Turtles. short amount of time but like for them it's like yeet and skirt lasted a, like a quarter it yeah. was it was like one yeah. quarter of the year yeah oh. now we got riz you know right. we, we got to keep it moving you got to keep the terms fresh i bet i bet there's a lot of uh you know ones that didn't last very long in the uh, 90s generation we just don't remember them <laughs> <laughs> Melissa's favorite memory is when Fertucci came on and demanded everybody be silent one minute prior to the podcast going live. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, you got your fair shake after you got off the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Borg yeah. says best moment was when Fertucci wanted to speak, but demand. Oh, sorry, same one. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. And there are so many good ones, honestly. Old man yells at clouds. Yeah, man. Like you are. Give me a word that you had in your generation that stood the test of time. Dope. Cool. Dope yeah. is dope for sure. Yeah, dope, dope. definitely. Fly. Fly gone. No, nah, flies back. Flies back. gone. Flies fly back. back. Still, I still hear fly. That yeah. Fly is gone. Fly no is one from back. my generation says fly. What? Disagree. I'll Disagree. So fly. What about sick? Sick, sick is there. Yep. Yeah, sick never left. Psych kind of left. I still Psych use rad, was, mm. but I don't think anybody else Nobody knows. Rad ever is used rad, rad, man. dead since it, before it started. That's not a dead Other joke. Than, that's, that's a rad, rad. Yeah, that's a, we Only use, we use Conrad rad. Yeah, we, is we, the only rad. Conrad. We use rad ironically. Fine is, is still... Fine doesn't fine. count. Fine's just a word. Oh, you think our no. parents said fine? So is fly. No one says fly. So it's cool. Fine is like the word that like just that'll right. stand the test of time. Yeah, because yeah. our generation came up with right, it. I yeah. genuinely think that hold up, let him cook will stand the test of time. <laughs> <laughs> I a hundred percent believe if anything from this generation nah. will stay, it's Can gotta be like someone's gonna say some like down bad shit. Yep. And you just keep like, from now. Nah, let him cook. Fifty years from now, some somebody's gonna be running a podcast on Mars and they're gonna be like, hey. You know, let him cook. Let him cook. He's let on him Mars cook. now. Let him yeah. cook. It's the thing with let him cook. Like I'm gonna, so I'm gonna good. go to Jupiter. Let him it, cook. it seems unlikely. I mean, maybe it does. I, I, I like let him cook. But that's it, what I'm saying. See, but it, it, it kind of just replaced let him live. Nah. Yeah, we said like let him live. Let him live. But yeah. it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the same let him live emphasis. Like, like don't bully him. Like let, like let him, like let him have his stance. No, it's the same thing. It's the same as let him cook. Yeah. Like let him, like, let him do his thing. Let him do yeah. his thing. Yeah. yeah, but like let him cook is like an actionable thing, you know. So is living, bro. I, I, don't get, know I get it, but it's not the same. You know, it doesn't have the same right. punch to it. I hate that down bad has made the, the down bad is good. Surgeons that it I has. say down bad way too. Yeah, often it's all now. because of Let's this go, idiot. Baby. I love for everything. Down and bad I say is good. down bad to people bad. who I know don't know what down bad I will bad say this much. Like I will say this much. Melissa and Landon were beyond necessary i i'll i'll go so far as to say uh For they sure. were the backbones yeah. of this podcast in the sense that i don't think we're interesting without the the generational gap right and like melissa was a nice gel in the sense that she's like a young millennial yeah. elder zoomer yeah like she's like right on that line mm -hmm. where we're like elder millennials and landon's a fucking baby mm -hmm. yeah uh <laughs> i mean down bad's so good because you have look you have so many different you have down bad you have down horrendous you have down abysmal you have down <laughs> astronomical right you could just keep going with how bad it is yo melissa you don't uh, like the fit what's going on here you gotta commit to the fit i think this looks good hmm. It's like, is he wearing a sport coat with a hoodie underneath? Yeah, yeah. Look fucking, let him cook. I look fucking let fly. Him fuck. See, I look fly as fuck. See, See look, I'm talking about that. It's dope. Fly as fuck. Let him cook. It's for yeah. real, no cap. Honestly, I, I did. People Sheesh. liked the bit. People liked people. People liked the bit when I said I could fight and beat animals in fights. Mm. I the first that, time that was, that was, a was not a bit. bit. No, it was a that, bit. Was we a still bit. talk about it till today. I mean, no, but it was the truth. The first time I will say the first time that Melissa said and brought up like a chimpanzee for me to like theoretically fight i thought i had i thought i stood a chance mm -hmm. and then i realized uh, how it strong eat your those... face rip your face off yeah uh, she let me cook on that one and then yeah. it, who let bro cook mm -hmm. <laughs> bro once, burn the house down once your face is off <laughs> it's hard to beat the pan yeah the no i can't i can't beat a chimp <laughs> i can't i can't do it i think uh is as trite as it may be 
One of my favorite episodes, <laughs> I think, was the day we went live after the hand. The Robbie hand? Partly because that's our most viewed video of all time. Bro, our numbers... I, we had 2K concurrent during that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. For Do you remember how long the pod was? It was... It was, or it was overtly yeah. too long, but we knew we needed to keep the viewership. <laughs> right. Well, it wasn't just about keeping the viewership. There was that much to unpack. It was like three and a half it or four like hours long. It was like three and a half hours with at least one and a half K concurrent. But I think like uh, that podcast stands out to me and the one about Brandy Hawbaker stands out to me because... That was a good one. Uh, personally, like as the one developing run of show, I put so much effort into digging into the depths <laughs> of the internet yeah. in both of these scenarios. Like... We did the we did the uh the reaction to the hustler hand at like eight AM because I was supposed to be at live at the bike that same day. And we ended up running till noon and I missed my flight. Mm -hmm. But I had been up since like five thirty, finishing up all the research that I was already doing until like one AM the night before. So I slept like three hours and we were pulling like all this footage, we were making clips, we were just Everything under the sun that you could imagine to unpack over this three hour, which, you know, when it's all said and done, it ultimately ends up being nothing. But like where we were coming from in an industry standpoint is this could be another possible scenario. And I think that in a world of gambling where it's already so tough to make it and there's so much negative feedback that you don't know is if it's variance or if like you're just being cheated or whatever, these stories captivate the audience mm -hmm. like this is our version of true crime right you know people Which, love true crime bro, man. True, true crime is so <laughs> i told a story on on Very the live funny. stream yesterday i was listening to this podcast of these uh two youtubers who they developed a ch they, they were big on vines the six six, six second videos when oh, they were in high I love school vine, Ugh, and then vine they, was so good so they went from vine to youtube and they started doing like shorter vi videos on youtube so they went from six second videos to like six minute videos and then they really found their niche creating these documentaries going from property to property uh, that were potentially haunted, right? Um, so now they do like these 60 minute long docs uh, about like haunted properties and stuff like that. And they were telling that Joe Rogan asked them like, what was the what was the worst place that they went? And they talk about this place where in the early 1900s, this axe murderer killed an entire family. And I tell this story on the live stream yesterday as they go into like gory detail of like how he used the blunt end of the axe because if you use the sharp end, it gets stuck in the skull and now you can't be as efficient killing people. Yeah. Um, but long story short, basically uh, the, a book was later released like, you know, decades later where they found this, um, these similarities all across the nation and even including Germany of the exact same crime scene where, you know, like the family had a barn and they lived cl close to the railroad tracks. So they called him like the, 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 the locomotive killer or something along those lines. Um, but I tell this story on air and Dankness comes up to me afterwards and he's like, Jesus Christ, man. Thanks a lot for the true crime. I heard you <laughs> Disembowelment yeah. of people on air. I heard air. you talking about like axes to the head and... I was just like, what, what, what's going on on this show? Right? I mean, I you gotta tell a story sometimes. Yeah. I didn't hear anything because I was watching it on mute. But you were at a bar, that's why. That, listen, don't really, you know, tell everybody where my location was at the moment. <laughs> All right? Sure. But somebody did hit me up on Twitter and said, you gotta ask Berkey what the hell he's talking about with this anime porn. Oh, <laughs> what is it? What? So somebody asked... Uh, <laughs> Somebody asked, was it Jungle asked Robbie or I think Jungle, <laughs> I think Jungle asked Robbie if she ever watched anime. Somebody it could asked have been, her. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like a Jungle Man conversation. Well, it could have been um, the vlogger. Well, I can't remember his name. Masato? Masato, yeah. Oh. It could have been Masato. But either way, somebody asked Robbie if they ever watched anime. And she like kind of sheepishly said yes. And as a joke, I said, not anime porn. <laughs> Because I'm used to dealing with Landon, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this has nothing to do with me. What, what's sure. going on right now? I mean, you want a big titty anime, no, girl. It's, it's, this bit needs, needs to die. It's, it's, it's not a bit. It's the truth. The we bit know. needs to die. Yeah, the facts are it's facts. over. There's I'm calling the bit over. <laughs> I have denounced the bit. So no cap. These, for real, for real. So Bussin. If one of these ladies showed up at your house, the, you would listen, say, turn, turn the her away? The bit is over. You'd say, no, thank you. I'm her. Who? 
The big titty. Literally blue who? Hair. Hey, girl. <laughs> who? Very important. She has blue hair for yeah. sure. Blue hair for who? sure. For sure. Yeah. Sheesh. It's a uh, present. Yeah. Present them. <laughs> you see? He would. <laughs> oh man there we go now we're getting there but yeah that that's the whole backstory too unbelievable it was just a it was just a needle yeah uh-huh yeah uh-huh <laughs> man uh geek says one of his favorite ongoing segments was conrad versus the runner mm, yes <laughs> i don't know we all know. appreciated that uh-huh. one buddy yeah. I, I can't wait for the next runner contest oh, yeah. just shout, to out, fucking... shout out slow poker you have uh you have no idea the pre-production and that went on oh my god during that whole era 100 1000 percent i know who it is i already know a thousand percent it's over you gonna get i don't know what you guys are talking about honestly (laughs) you guys are all idiots that's what it comes down to oh man that one was great you guys are really you know special (laughs) i i I will say the nfl season provided a lot more uh commentary than i expected the the mr unlimited bit was great I don't know if we're gonna be able to run that one back. You heard that they got uh, they hired Sean Payton now as the head coach, right? And Broncos like the first did. thing he did whenever he got in there was tell Russell Wilson that like he can't have his social media crew there any oh, longer. He, he limited him. Thank yeah, God. He, he limited <laughs> Mister Unlimited, uh, and they got rid of Let's Ride. It's uh, no longer the yeah that was crazy. Uh, he changed the slogan to something so funny like "Shut the fuck up" or something like that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Russell. Yeah. Wait, the new slogan uh, is "I'm not allowed yeah, to say slogan." Yeah, weekend warriors were born, born out of that. Everyone got some really really. Sharp picks Bad if you were picks. on the Steelers, baby. Yeah, Steelers. I went good. seven to two down the stretch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did. Goddamn right. I might have been a nine and zero against the spread. I don't even know. I don't even remember. Mm-hmm. You were nowhere near any zero in How the back you of your know? fucking record. How would you know? Because you, you like... forgot to keep track, man. No, you had I didn't. one job. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Let me see that graphic. It's at the house. Pull up the graphic, Wapo. It's at the house. It's at my computer God, at the up. house. Still. Pull it up. Graphic, yeah. <laughs> pull up that graphic. Pull up that graphic. Anyway, I totally tangented, which is another uh, beautiful thing about this show, I yes, guess. Of course, we couldn't um, have an anniversary show without a tangent. What I was saying many, many moons ago was that uh, poker right now is bussing to a degree where every single day there's something happening across the nation. Mm-hmm. And it's getting to a point where uh, it's almost every single day and and maybe this is actually true uh there's televised poker to do commentary on so it's kind of weird because we're obviously not a sport but we're we're entering that realm where we're getting you you know what i I hate to draw the parallel because i know people get annoyed by it but like we're pretty comparable to like pickleball (laughs) like you can almost always find pickleball coverage at least on the weekends yeah pickleball is actually very similar to golf they do like uh four-day weekends where sunday's championship day um but yeah i mean it's like you know there's constantly televised pickleball every tuesday from the i think the orchard in austin they do televised games with pros so so it's like yeah we're we're getting to a point now where like bottom of the barrel con or like if we ever struggling for anything like there's a fucking two five live stream fired up somewhere in america that we can uh you know do commentary on or, or at least look over and you know that's that's good it's good for us. It's it good, good for good business. For yes. You yes. know? Good for poker. It is, it is good for poker better. for sure. Beautiful thing. You guys can lose the fucking bingo sheets, man. The problem, <laughs> the everybody who's saying sheet. like the, the catchphrase bingo sheet as one of your favorite, the problem is, is that like, I'm like the Zoomer generation. The second that a word makes it to the bingo card, it's done. I'm, uh, it's off. I'm, yeah. I'm not saying it anymore, man. Yeah, you don't yeah. have, you can't control that. The you fuck say I can. every single one of these words all the time. Not anymore. On day two of the um of the that win event I was in, I was playing with, um, I, I'm sorry, the guy's name escapes me. I'm sorry. Uh, I've played with him before. He, he's been around Vegas for a while. He plays in cash. Alan plays Kessler. Him. No, um, <laughs> but his wife is the one who came up with the bingo card, oh. and she said she was so excited when we brought it up on the <laughs> podcast. So that was funny. Yeah. She's got to work out for it if she's going to keep replacing it. Mm-hmm. But th- actually, mm-hmm. there's probably enough words where you could have multiple bingo cards, probably, so yeah. more than one person probably, could play at home. Probably. Efro says, remember when Berkey drafted ODB, <laughs> WSOP fantasy team, and nobody he drafted got a single point? I got fucking points, man. Not very many. I did not get very yeah. many. Got <laughs> I, I cleaned house in I was second leading scorer on that team, if you want to know how bad it was. Yeah. I Down did not horrendous. have a very good summer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You had and a bad then, summer. Uh, episode that never aired was your punishment. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, the lost episode. <laughs> the lost episode. I forgot about that. There, there may or may not be a lost episode of me dressed up in drag. Full drag. Full drag. Full drag. Uh, the, the makeup, anyways. Yeah, I had a t-shirt on and no boobs, but um, and the the makeup artist was very very proud of what he had done i mean he did a great job he did a great, did a great job. job he yeah. did do a great job um but we had decided against it. it seemed like not something to put out into the public yeah but yeah that was uh that was not the the contest i wanted to lose <laughs> what would we have done if melissa had lost there was something i uh, should wear a bald cap Oh, man, wow. what an unfair wow, bet! Not, not Absolutely nothing. What an unfair bet! Like it took two hours or more, like two and a half hours for you to get that makeup on. Yeah. I mean, it was a process. I was very impressed with like how much went into it. It's remarkable what makeup can do. I was gorgeous. You you did look good. Incredible. Mm -hmm. You look good, cuz. Yeah, look good, cuz. <laughs> Should invite cuz on for that episode. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> I said I gotta go. Oh boy! Uh, I said I gotta go. Cuz, oh man! Cuz snapped on somebody the other day. They weren't acting correctly at the poker table, and mm. it was a great. He set him straight. He set his ass straight, one hundred percent. It was it was pretty great actually. We need people like that. You know? <laughs> All right, let's get out here on a top three. So you guys, we'll go around the room. You guys can give me the the top for these three categories. Top guest. <clears throat> Ryan DePala. Cuz, probably. Oh. Cuz is really good. I think Cuz. That yeah. Yeah, episode wise I gotta go Cuz. Same. Um Cuz is the one that stands out to me the most, but I had another one Sheets in mind. Sheets was really good. Yeah, Sheets um, was great. Uh I feel like there was a recent one where yeah. it was it it felt like it was just he and I having a conversation. Oh, Zach. Is it, oh <laughs> yeah, Zach. Zach was actually great. Yeah, Zach yeah, was yeah. great. That was a really mm -hmm. enjoyable guest. Yeah, Victoria was great. Oh, that no. was the one I was thinking. Honestly, my Victoria she, was really great. I was, I was, I was conf definitely Sarah. Her too. She wasn't a guest. She's yeah, she's right. a she's the only friend adjacent. Who? It's like Who? Sarah. Like oh, the, yeah. there's a handful that don't count as guests. Like Sarah, Caitlin, Marley, count. Right. Sarah, Marley, Caitlin, yeah. uh, Johnny Vibes, Jamin, yeah. DePaulo. Right. Well, These are all, all the like, reoccurring guests. They're all friends yeah. of the show. They're friends yeah. adjacent. Uh, mm -hmm. Like Jamie. I mean, yeah, Jamie. Andy and Dan was was great too. Andy and Dan, Man, yeah. It's hard to it'd be hard to narrow it down. Platt, Brent, these guys are all they're right. all part of the OnlyFans like family. Yeah, yeah. Brandon Shaq Harris, right. big shout out to him. Red Balloon, my guy. I, I see you out in the streets. Every day I win, he sends me a text like congratulating me. <laughs> and every day I lose, I send him a text and say, "I hope my sacrifice to the poker gods <laughs> is getting you out of the yeah. out of the gutter." <laughs> uh. Um. Okay. Uh. Most impactful show or or favorite favorite like impactful topic. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, I think the bringing to light the um, uh, the vulnerabilities in the stream houses. I mean, I I think that yeah, that, because I think actually uh, change has been done, and I and you know I can't say whether our show was the direct cause of that or any cause of that. But if it was, then that's, uh, that's awesome. Honestly, I really liked, uh, the little stretch that we had post, uh, post conversation of what we're going to do before WSOP. When we had that kind of conversation of whether or not podcasts going to live or not, mm -hmm. and then decided that we're all going to kind of come in, uh, earlier and quote unquote, give up some EV and some spots for tournaments just to kind of get the podcast on and get news and notes from it. But mm. I think that that was a good time as a whole, like as a collective for like growth yeah. in regards to like how the podcast is still here now. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Connie? What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That, my, those are my uh, favorites. It's got to yeah, be the intro. Yeah. Is just completely what? detached from the. What, what was your What was your favorite like impactful topic that we covered? Um, I'd say the cheating stuff. Yeah. Like which it's, Which one? Yeah, which one? Uh, probably the hustle hand? stuff. Hand. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Guap? Uh, for me, 
maybe it's a little I don't want to say morbid, but I think her name was Susie Zhao. Oh yeah. And we yeah. were talking about, you know, everything that happened to her is just a reflection on how good things can go and then not go. Yeah, that was a very tragic story. Uh it was kinda the lead was kind of buried for the better part of a year until the her her uh killer was eventually taken to trial. Uh mine Mine's a little strange. Uh so to me, one of my favorite shows that we ever did, and uh, it's it's because I'm passionate about this subject, I guess, and I think that, not to toot our horns, but I think a lot of work was put into it and it came out really well, was the Liver King un- uh, revealed. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Kind of like running through all of the, the body chemistry, the science, everything that goes into uh, what it was that he was doing. But I think the most important thing that we covered over the last 360 days. I, I agree with you about the stream house thing. Like that was really great to see the change. Um, but I think that the impact that we had on the, on the RTA stuff was pretty undeniable. Like yeah. for this committee to be formed for these bad actors to be uh, shunned from now live events. Like that was the solution we literally spoke about is right. like, we should not as a community be okay with them continuing to make money. Mm-hmm. off of our backs if they are truly guilty of what they're being accused of right and uh it didn't take long for these companies to start to speak to one another at the <laughs> at the top levels the the head of each company and say like is this true yes this is true okay like they're banned from all our stops too and eventually just have this cascading effect where they're just getting turned away at every cage i mean that's a big deterrent to people fucking around and finding out later which i think is you know, if anything's going to come from doing a show five days a week, 365 days a year, uh, or, or 52 weeks a year, whatever, uh, having a moment like that, even once a year, if, if once maybe in the existence of a show makes it all worthwhile to yeah. some degree, you know? So like for that kind of stuff, I, I, I think that it feels good to be able to be at the head of that and not just be reliant on, I guess, like, downward pressure right like uh being reliant upon people who are behind the scenes to take care of all this stuff because without public scrutiny there, there's just not that much incentive in my opinion agree what are you laughing at uh nothing <laughs> honestly that's a fair answer yeah that actually is a very fair answer you guys don't want to know what do you want me to say no right. i mean like you just laugh at nothing all the time anyways so it's like, I laugh at stuff Final, nothing, nothing that i tell you <laughs> final one what's your favorite uh, running bit. I mean, adjacent I'm, has yeah. to be adjacent. For I me. mean, what better it's time? time? What better time to? Uh, it is. It is time. It is time. Tor- two. I mean, the tortoise bit is uh, the tortoise is bit crazy. is good. The these, tortua bit is. I, I do have to give a shout out to Landis Mom Marnie. She made these amazing tortoise. Uh, I don't know if you can see these tortoise cookies. Yeah, they are did. very cute, and I'm going to gobble them up. And I'm going to eat them right <laughs> now. I'm going I'm to going eat to them eat. on air now. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the tortoise bit is kind of – it's it's wild when, like, I'm just, like, walking through, you know, the poker room anywhere in Vegas, and someone's like, hey, tortoise. And I'm like, what's up? But, yeah, it's uh, – <laughs> These glasses are a good bit, the, too. The glasses are a good bit. But, uh, yeah, the tortoise bit, and we're going to keep it going, you know. Tortoise is going to be out there. Tortoise is going to get in the main. And we're going to do some things. Mine's not even close. It's 100% landed in the towel. <laughs> the, the, towel. the landed in the towel meme is uh. so fucking good and timeless. <laughs> I mean... I mean, you, you were landed in the towel for uh, Halloween. It's so priceless, man. And, yeah. like, I'm ranking this above yeah. all of my Yinzerisms yeah. and everything else. Like, Let it go. <laughs> bro, Let it go. Never. This is, yeah. The annoyance of it makes it even better. <laughs> It's so it's so good. What about you, Guap? First Tap, thing that, oh, first thing that one came one. to mind for me was the tortoise as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the tortoise bit is a is a very close second. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm happy he gets his shine. Yep. It, it, it'd be nice if Conrad just had one bit instead of like 13 bits. There's a lot that of we lot could just of, yes. attribute all yes, day. The tab. Yep. It's all mine. The tab. The is tab's really great. Good. Mm-hmm. Let's get it popping. It's great. It, half of the emotes that we've created are Conrad. Yes, <laughs> actually. Uh, between actually, him and Cuz, I think that they could render us useless. Just have nothing but a show of uh, Cuzisms and and Conradisms. Let everybody else figure them out. <laughs> LMA nine. 
Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, LMA9 man. is not even from the podcast. It's just from, <laughs> it's from lack of chat. spelling. Yeah. Chat. But it went to the podcast. It went to the pod, yeah, it migrated. Actually, it came from the chat. The podcast chat, yeah, it yeah. did. LMA9. <laughs> God bless the chat. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. We appreciate you guys riding and dying with us for the last 365 days. We're going to keep it rolling. Uh, we're headed to the GPAs or the Global Poker Awards tonight. Yes. We're up for best podcast of the year. So fingers crossed, we're going to take that down. I believe the broadcast starts at 5.30 p.m. You can find that on PokerGo's YouTube or if you have a PokerGo subscription, I believe they're broadcasting it live there as well. Yep. Be sure to know that you will get your shout out in the acceptance speech if we do manage to make it up to the podium. Not if one. Oof. Oh, confident young man, confident young <laughs> You got to have it, you know, you got to have the power of hashtag positivity, you know. It's just mm. nice to be nominated. Yeah. Just happy to be I'm here. Just happy to be here. We, we got a little willing. update. We got a little update. Okay. Our boy Mike Joseph. Mm -hmm. he, um, final resolution on the situation with GG Poker. The security team went above and beyond and did a fantastic job. They were able to recover about 75% of the lost funds and freeze the hackers withdrawal. That's, oh, that's awesome. Great. That's yeah, great. That, that's awesome. That's a way, well, it's almost good way to end it. He should be compensated 100% well, of it. He should though, be, yes. So. But I mean, I mean, getting 75% back now is a good start for sure. Yeah. Great start. Great start. I do agree. Shout oh, out to GG. I guess GG. they do have 2FA, and he just didn't have 2FA on his, uh, on his mm, account. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Well, so Mike took the L on that one, but also said, yeah, it happens. But some of the money was legit dumped two good players in a 200-400 PLO. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> you hate to see it, man. hate to see it. Don't look good, cuz. All right, well, thank you guys so much. As always, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. We'll be back to start year two this Monday at noon Pacific. Can we do we 11? See you guys then. No, we can't. Actually, we can because Tuesday's 11 with Brent. He had to switch oh. the time. Okay. So we can do all next week at 11. Perfect. So make that 11 Pacific via Conrad's request. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys all later. Peace. Peace.